Today we will be talking about John Bengan's armor with analysis using the Marxist concept. If you are not yet familiar with the story, here's a quick summary. The setting takes place in Davao, in the rampant age of the Davao Death Squad gunning down drug users, pushers, and runners. The protagonist, Ronnie, is one of those who are taking drugs. He was warned by his friend Oliver about the death squad who only wanted to discourage him from the competition. But Ronnie doesn't care about the death squad because he himself wanted to die, which didn't happen when he actually saw the poster of the gay beauty pageant on their barangay. He likes joining gay pageants and on his latest pageantry, he will be Great Britain. With the help of B-Boy, his friend and the drug runner of the late Tiago, his Excalibur arm was successfully completed, which will add a standout touch to his costume as Miss Great Britain. On the day of the event, Ronnie was on stage, ready to bring out his armor props as the audience, including B-Boy, was cheering for him. Suddenly, he saw the Davao Death Squad and he froze on stage, trying to release his stuck arm from the armor, but he couldn't. The men were after B-Boy and as he forcefully took off the armor from his hand, it broke. The next thing he knew, B-Boy was nowhere to be found. He tried to run after the DDS who had B-Boy, but they were all gone. From the story, we can identify three Marxist concepts. Superstructure, ideology, and hegemony. Let's start with superstructure. From what we have known from the story, the culture that the characters are in comprises the political will of the politicians in Davao that time. Davao, having the image of the cleanest city in Mindanao, both in governance and environment, maintains its reputation as such by also trying to get rid of the drugs and people involved in them. Though killing is immoral, it is disregarded for the greater good. It can be said that the system is that of a utilitarian's ways, that even if it requires suffering, death and what not, if it benefits the majority, then it will be done. Next is ideologies. A lot of characters and happenings in the story occur in our reality, in this world today. For the Death Squad, it mirrors our country's justice system. As we all know, the country is controversially facing war on drugs. People are being shot, arrested and are gone missing out of nowhere because they are allegedly pushers, runners, dealers, or users. This happens even without due process, just like the death squad. Also, poverty was portrayed realistically through B-Boy who was skinny and wore torn clothes and had no home, and Ronnie's occupation and lack of money. Oliver also signifies the reality of having two-faced people in one's life. You thought they actually care for you for warning you about the death squad, for example. But in reality, would only want to scare you so you'd back out from the pageant. Like telling you in real life to give up your dreams so they could take your place. Also, the armor played a big symbolism in the story. It's as if it was a representation of B-Boy. In reality, the defenseless. When it's shattered, it somehow tells us that when you don't have money, or you're only under the mercy of the powerful, you cannot really defend yourself. You have no armor to protect you. Lastly, hegemony. It can be said that power is abused probably a million times a day. The infamous Davao death squad was mentioned in the story. In reality, it was rumored, take note, rumored, to work directly under the Duterte's. It's clear that the political predominance is present and whoever is top brass behind the DDS is the one who holds power in the story. So that's it for this analysis. If we missed something, or if there are things and concepts you'd like to add, leave it on the comment section. We'd like to know more about your insights. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click here. 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 To subscribe.